Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who figure review and today's Doctor Who figure review I'll be looking at the Jadoon Captain from the 13th Doctor wave of figures. How very exciting. Who doesn't love a good old Jadoon with a mohawk? It's very exciting. Um, yeah, so the way this video is going to work is obviously I'm going to look at the packaging for this figure, do articulation detail and then do a comparison to the original Jadoon Captain and then do my overall thoughts. A um, little side note, if you want to see any other figure reviews what I've done, I'll leave a link in the description below to my Doctor Who figure review playlist. So, you know, like the recent Third Doctor and Talis from the Monster Paladin. That's in there. I reviewed Graham, the Resolution Dalek, and uh, the 13th Doctor's Tardis. Um, to name but a few. So if you want to check out that, I'll leave a link in the description below to my Doctor Who figure review playlist. Um, so without further ado, let's look at the Jadoon Captain in the packaging. So here we have the Jadoon Captain in the packaging. So we've got the Doctor Who logo there, 5 plus the Gallifrey in text, which goes all along the packaging there. We've got the etched TARDIS design, the actual figure displayed there rather nicely in the window box, displaying the accessory rather nicely. What the figure includes, Jadoon Cap. And on the side, you've got a nice image of the product so you can check for quality control. And on the back, we have the other figures available within the wave. So take a look at the articulation for the Jadoon Captain. Now the head does not move, the arms can do a full 360 degree turn. We have 360 degree turn at the bicep, bend at the elbow, 360 at the wrist. The waist can turn side to side. Legs can kick out ever so slightly and can kick back more. Um, and obviously can sort of do the splits, but it is of course hindered by the skirt piece. We do have fire articulation, we can do a full 360 degree turn and of course bend at the knee. So here we have Captain Paul Coldon. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, I absolutely love Fugitive of the June. I haven't really talked about Series 12 as a series. I might do that as a future video. Um, but yeah, Fugitive of the June, probably my second favourite episode of the series. Um, and the Jadoon, we're an absolute highlight. Um, I, I love the Jadoon again and the prosthetics and the animatronics for um, the Jadoon Captain were literally one of the best. Like There was so much character. Um, to the actual Jadoon Captain. It was it was brilliant, it was marvellous, and I loved it. Um, so this figure, back to the figure. Um, yeah, the figure is essentially your standard Jadoon figure, but it has a few slightly tweaks. It's been slightly retooled. Obviously, the main noticeable difference is obviously it's got a mohawk. Um, how very exciting, and obviously the sort of retooled um, chest piece, and of course the little uh, translator. Um, sort of stamp thing has been uh, modified to reflect how it appeared in series 12. So taking a look at the head sculpt, now the head sculpt has obviously been slightly retweaked and retooled, obviously the chest piece as well has been slightly retooled, um, but we'll cover that in a minute. So obviously um, the Jadoon is in this nice sort of, um, sort of this sandy sort of um, greyish colour for the skin tone, but then we've sort of got a wash over it to really highlight the sort of sculpting detail of the actual Jadoon um, to give it that really nice sort of texture to really show and highlight the detail of the actual Jadoon sculpt which we'll look at in a minute. Um, so let's look at the famous Mohawk. Now the Mohawk's done really well obviously because it's done in this nice sort of light brown um, base coat when it's got sort of a black sort of, um, sort of tinge to it to really sort of highlight the sculpts of the individual hair strands. It's just done really well to give that sort of hair a sense of depth um, which is captured really nicely within the actual uh, Jadoon figure with nice sort of um, creases there and obviously the sort of wash inside there really does highlight the actual sculpt of it to give it sort of that lifelike um, effect. Again we've got a nice sort of wrinkles and the cragginess of the Jadoon um, sort of uh, skin to really give it that sort of rhino look to it which is done really well. We've got one eye which is um, blind which has been given a sort of a sort of a beigey colour to it to show that it is blind um, which is really nice attention to detail um, by character option on, on the other side we've got the standard sort of Jadoon, Jadoon and on the other side we've got a standard Jadoon eye. Um, the horns are done really nicely um, as you can see we've got an, again much like the Mohawk it's literally the same sort of colour um, again that light brown um, again with that sort of black um, black wash over it to really highlight the sort of uh, strands of the horn itself which is done really well. We've got the nice little nostrils, the lips have been painted you can see the detailing of the teeth. Now the armour, if you've got a Jadoon figure you basically know what to expect with this but obviously you've got slight tweaks of the uh, Jadoon equipment and the chest piece um, but other than that you basically know what you get. We have the nice panelling detail of the armour, you know the sort of section detail there. Really nice attention to detail with the sort of sections there, the sort of um, shoulder pads which is done really well, um, the little elbow pads and if we just turn the arm inside you can see the buckles of where the armour fastens on the actual Jadoon Captain. 
again you can see where the new piece is all clipped onto the new um, Dradoon and obviously the colour scheme of the Dradoon um, is really nice because obviously we've got the nice sort of silver which really does stand out in this sort of nice sort of burgundy red it really does make the figure pop and bring the figure a bit more to life especially with the um, equipment as well we've got the Dradoon's six pack uh, because obviously this Jadoon goes to the gym uh, if we move the arm back further you can if we just move the arm ever so slightly you can see where all the armor is all fastened there with all the buckles and the sort of strap detailing again which is done really nice again we've got the nice sort of studded effect across the belt as well you can see where all the stuff the clips on and obviously the strands of where the belt sort of all links together really good attention to detail by character options there uh, but back to the chest piece, you can see where all the sort of accessories plug in because these are removable um, But I'm not going to remove mine because they're a little bit fiddly to put back on and obviously they get more loose and they're more likely to come off And I'll be more likely to lose them, um, but obviously they do plug in to the actual chest piece um, We've got the nice sort of silver detail in there to really sort of make the figure pop even more um, If we just take a closer look at the actual um, detail of the equipment, if I just move the arm um, you can see the nice panelling detail there of the actual communicator where it would sort of assimilate language and I guess that's the one that they use to um, stamp for people to say that look they're not the person they're after. Um, the skirt piece is done really nice again we've got the nice sort of sort of metal studs there um, which again really nice attention detail. It's a slightly um, more rigid PVC to, compared to the original one um, and then we've got the nice holster which the gun does fit in obviously we don't have the detail painted there. Um, and if we move down to the boots themselves, we've got a nice sort of detail there of all the straps and obviously the lace detailing there, and obviously the metal buckles there, and obviously the tread on the shoes. All very good attention to detail. So moving on to the comparison to the original Jadoon Captain figure from 2007, you really can see um, the difference. It kind of feels weird seeing a Jadoon without a mohawk now. I just feel so accustomed to seeing a Jadoon um, with a mohawk it just seems the norm it just seems very weird seeing one without it so yeah you really get to see um, the differences obviously the armor on the original one's a lot more glossy um, and the new one is a bit more of a matte uh, finish to it um, the chest piece as you can see what I mean but it's very different obviously because obviously the Jadoon have different technology as you can see we have the standard um, sort of scanning device there and obviously that's been swapped out for the new material you know, you can see that the holster on the original Jadoon figure has been painted. I'm not entirely sure if that is accurate to how it appeared in Fugitive of the Jadoon. Um, you know, I'm not really... Uh, I don't think we see that up close, actually, because the Jadoon are using very different weapons um, within that um, actual story. But the gun is exactly the same as your standard um, Jadoon gun, I think. But it is slightly inaccurate, because obviously character options are just using the scope that they have, because I believe that it has a little... Um, thing on top like a little reader thing but if I just um, remove the original Jadoon gun which seems to fit in the, the holster a lot better than the new one actually um, you can see the the color difference in the actual uh, guns themselves we've got a the nice detailing um, of the handle there which is done really cool nice attention detail with all the trigger and all the sort of paneling detail on the actual uh, gun itself and obviously that just fits into the Jadoon's hand really well there we have it so we can carry out uh, justice throughout the universe look at that look doesn't that look very badass so what are my reports on the Jadoon captain um, well I really like it I think that the additional tooling character options have done um, to the original Jadoon figure has made it a lot more interesting I feel like it is made for a very interesting figure and it just feels very fresh um, which sounds very odd to say but it does feel like a very fresh figure um, I think that character options have done really good job actually because I didn't expect them to go to sort of the lengths of uh, retooling the chest piece there and obviously giving the Jadoon updated equipment you know I just expected them just to give it a mohawk and say there's a the Jadoon captain from um, series 12 but no I feel like the tweaks character options have made to this figure have made it quite exciting and fresh and I will say that it's one of my favorites from the wave actually I mean I, who doesn't love a good old Jadoon? The Jadoon captain looks amazing next to um, two of the troops it just looks very imposing um, and I absolutely love it. Um, you know, I feel like the updated sculpting, obviously on the chest piece, um, you can see that you know these sort of abs are more defined on the new Jadoon, maybe because this Jadoon goes to the gym more than the original Jadoon um, captain. But let's not go there, shall we? Um, you know, I just feel like this is a very. I, I've got to say that this is probably one of my secret favourite ones of the wave. I just think the additional work character options have done. You know, I've just really made a figure from 2007 seem very fresh and that is a very 
um, good thing because the Jardine figures are great. Um, I absolutely love them. Um, I've seen a lot of people, you know, the work on the um, sort of two Jadoon equipment done really nice. You can see the nice sort of panelling detail there on them and obviously the little uh, stamp device. It's just done really well. I really like the attention to detail characters have paid because obviously those tiny little things really make the figure stand out even more. Um, I've seen a lot of people say that it would be quite nice if the horn was removable, um, like when uh, the roof sort of just as full Venusian Aikido on the Jadoon. Um, that would have been a nice little touch. Um, I think that would have made uh, a nice little thing and obviously that would have given this figure another variant. I will say that I do have one slight problem with my actual Jadoon Captain is that the one leg is slightly warped from it being in the packaging as you can see. But it is slightly warped but you know can't really help that because that's how it's been um, put in the packaging. Um, you know that would have been quite a nice little touch. Um, but I'm very happy with this Jadoon figure. I really do like it. And it's one of my favourites from the wave actually. I really do like it. It is a really nice figure. The detailing, the sculpting, the paint taps are all very crisp on it, and it just makes for a very good figure. It just, it just reminds me of how good the Jadoons are as an actual figure. They just make for great figures, and obviously they are quite imposing when you've got a little group of them. Doesn't that look great? So that's all I have to say on the Jadoon Captain. I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video, whatever that will be. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. So thank you very much, and... Goodbye. That's goodbye in Jadoon. Bye-bye.